AI is more than just generated slop. And today I'm going to be using the browser from Plexity called Comet, and it's going to help me order pizza and then plan an entire party. It's going to allow me to do a lot more in less time. So let me enter a prompt and my prompt is here. I want to order a pizza from Domino's and for the pizza itself, I want a pan pizza with cheese. And I go for, go through all the ingredients that I want on my pizza. And I'm going to order two different pizzas, some bread bites, and a side of pizza sauce. And then further down in my prompt, I have my address, which I'm obviously not gonna show you. We're going to hit submit. And what's gonna happen now is the perplexity agent on Comet is going to go through all the steps to order the pizza for me, freeing me up to do other things. So I'm gonna come back to this shortly. We're gonna see how my pizza comes out. And I'm gonna tell you all about the Comet browser in the meantime, and hopefully by the end of this video, I'll be eating pizza and help me plan an amazing party. So in this time round, we're gonna put in a prompt, find the best pizza in Hamilton, Ontario. So it is going to go through and the agent this time around is going to find the best pizza in the area. So my first prompt, the pizza that's going to show up to me, is just Domino's, I'm just kind of hungry. And in the meantime, I'm going to plan out the best pizza for my party for next week. And we can see here, we have some options. I know Calbunga is really, really good. So uh, let's put in a prompt. Do you have any suggestions on what pizza to order from Calabunga for my party? So while that's working, let's open up a new tab. And the way the comment browser works is this is the new tab experience. So we can actually just start typing and searching here. And that is going to search perplexity as well as being an agent built into the browser itself. You can also see we have access to like notes and stocks and other things that our browser is saying, hey, you might be interested in this. So this time around, we're going to put in this prompt here and it's going to basically say, hey, I'm having a party. Can you make a YouTube playlist for me? So my guest has something to listen to when we're eating our pizza. Let's open up a new tab once again. And this time around, we're going to put in this prompt here, which is going to say, hey, can you create an email draft and CC all these people and tell them about the party. And if you notice, I am not actually having it send the email out for this. I can just have it do as a draft. That way the human stays in the loop. So I can go through and verify all the data. So you can see I have a lot of different things going on right now and it's all just kind of working. So another tab and let's get supplies for the party. So I'm going to put in a prompt that says, hey, add paper plates, glasses and drinks for a party to my Amazon cart. So I am totally free as all these different things are going on and it makes my life a lot easier. So let's go check on our pizza now and we can see what we have. So we have left pizza with pineapple, onions, tomatoes, and the whole pizza has extra pizza sauce. We have one pan tossed meat pizza and our extra sauce and our bites. So we can actually see everything that's going on in our prop now. And we can see we're right at the checkout and it also has my location all correct. So everything is working the way it should be. You can see my instructions are here. I can meet them at the lobby of the hotel. Now we're at the final stage. I can actually click, we can pay with credit card at the door and we can click place our order. Meanwhile, let's go see what the best pizza is for the party. And we can see for a party at Calabunga Pizza in Hamilton, focus on the award-winning New York style pies, which is true, they literally won awards and it goes on to say it is the best cheese pizza so that should be a good pizza to order for our party so if you see here we can just do all the research and then next week before my party i can come back to the comp browser and have it order this pizza we also have our music playlist that's happening here so it says hey it's working on a playlist for us and it's literally adding stuff like ymca video has been added to the pizza party playlist so our playlist is being made which is cool we have our email draft that we have to connect google to so the way the browser works is it has access to a lot of different things but it needs your permission to be able to connect so let's connect our gmail to perplexity now it has access now it's going to start working on our draft Let's come check out what our paper plate situation is looking like. And it says, hey, I added these to your cart. So we have paper plates, glasses, and drinks. And you can see what it added for drinks. And let's try to say, hey, can you change the drinks and include Coke and water? And let's see what it's able to do. We're gonna go check out the Amazon cart in just a second. 
So, so far we have ordered pizza from Domino's because truthfully I'm hungry and I want to have pizza while I'm researching about pizza for my party next week, which just makes the most sense. But literally with just one prompt, I was able to have it go through all the steps, order a pizza for me without me having to sit there and struggle. And I got a lot done in the meantime. We know exactly what type of pizza we're going to order for next week. We also have our playlist that is being made for us right now as we speak, and it is still working. We have this one here with our email draft, and it says, hey, everyone, I'm planning a fun night at my place next week, and we'd love to have you join. We're going to have plenty of pizza, great music, and good company, just a chance to relax and catch up. And lastly, we have our Amazon order that is all correcting and fixing up. So now when I'm on YouTube, and if I go to playlist, List, we can actually see my pizza party and we can hit view full playlist and now we can see all the different songs that common has added for our pizza party making our life easier because now we have a nice playlist for the sake of privacy i removed the emails and the names but you can actually see the email draft that we have and i want to show you the amazon one while it's working so once you put in a prompt and the agent is working we can actually click in the icon and you can see exactly what it's doing as it goes along if you click and add the things to your cart and just how it all functions and works comments agent isn't super fast as it runs these tasks but the fact that it runs in the background is able to do all of these things relatively quick in comparison to you doing it manually yourself one by one and if you notice i just planned an entire party with plates drinks cups pizza, the best place for pizza, an email to invite people, and I ordered a pizza. And according to the Domino's tracker, my pizza is just being baked. So while we have time, let's look at some of the features that Comet offers. So say you want to ask a question, we're on the new tab page here. I can click in and type in whatever I want. We can enter our prompt, like tell me what is new in AI this week. And we're going to get a nice perplexity layout. You're going to see stuff from the assistant. We can scroll down, we can see links, we can see the answer that formats it nicely, and we can also get related questions. So we can just kind of dive down a rabbit hole of question after question and learn about this topic or whatever you want to learn about. There's also the image tab that we can use, but there's no images for this query, of course. If we are on a website like openai.com and we're just kind of using it, we can click in the top URL bar, enter our question there, and then hit enter. And just like that, we're again asking perplexity that question. Or if we type in the URL bar like this, if we come down one, we can just quickly click this. And now we are searching Google for the same answer. So we can flip between perplexity and Google really quickly. And then lastly, let's say we're on this Wikipedia page here and we're like deep into this topic, then something just comes to our mind and we're like, okay, what is it? We can actually click in the top right here. It says assistant. And that's going to open the side cart assistant. So now we can just type up our question like, hey, what's new in AI this week? And it just shows. Sidecart assistant does more than just answering questions like you would use just Google or just perplexity asking questions. It also works on the page that you're on. So maybe we are on this Wikipedia page and we can quickly summarize the entire article without having to read through this entire thing. So it has the ability to summarize all this for us. And that's nice and quick. And if we want to start a new chat and we don't want to like mix up the chats, we can click the top and we can click new thread. And it's going to give us little prompts about things we can ask based off things that are on the page itself. So maybe we want to create a presentation draft. It will go through and do that. And we're going to leave that running for a second. Let's go to YouTube. And let's say we're watching a video from this handsome individual here, and you should definitely subscribe to him. But we're going to click assistant here. And you can see right away, we can say, hey, can you summarize this video or extract the key takeaways? So we don't have to actually watch my videos anymore. Comet can do that for you. So could you summarize this video for us, please. And it's going to go through and do exactly that. And you can see the video summary about what Hicksfield Top Run actually is. And you can see everything you need to know. Now let's come back and we can see our presentation draft. It tells you what we should have on the first slide, second, third, fourth, all the way down. And it says, hey, do you want a draft in a specific presentation format, Google Slides, PowerPoint, or do you want to add a remove slide? So let's just say, hey, make it a Google Slide. See here, Common is making our slideshow for us based off the information. It's summarized from a Wikipedia article, and it's doing this all in the background while we can do other things. And I think that's absolutely amazing. Pizza Guy's about to be here, but let me show you one last feature. In the top right, we can actually launch voice mode, so we can allow it to have access to our mic. Did you tell me the score of the baseball game? The latest update says the game is currently scoreless through the first inning. 
You can follow live coverage of the Dodgers vs. Blue Jays World Series Game 7 for ongoing updates. And it just works. So you can actually download the comment browser right now. It's available to everyone. All right, the guys at the main lobby, I'll be right back to get my pizza. In comments, hands, I place my trust. Come and make it happen fast. One command, my hunger past. So I have my pizza now. And not only did I order pizza, I planned an entire party where I planned out the best pizza available, figured out which type of pizza I want to get from that place. I added things to my cart. I created an entire playlist and emailed my friends all from the common browser all the time it took for Domino's to make and deliver a pizza. And I still had extra time left over to show you more features of the browser. I've been covering a lot of AI browsers lately, and if you want to use an AI agent on a browser, I think the Comet AI agent is the best for any agent on a browser itself. It just seems to work the best out of all the options. Love to know what your thoughts are. What's your favorite AI browser currently? Leave a like on the video. It just tells all of you you just have content and you want to see more of it. And don't forget to subscribe for more AI content. That's all for today. I gotta go eat my pizza. Goodbye.